would take me there every Thursday night to the dance. Well, he knew I didn't drink, and and uh, he did a little bit. <laughs> and uh, uh, my family told him I must be home before 12 o'clock. And he would take my, what he called my card, the dance program, you know, and go around and fill it full, Got get every dance with me. And if some guy hesitated, he'd say, <laughs> oh, come on, she's a pretty good dancer, she's all right. <laughs> and would insist on it, and it would embarrass me to death. You know? <laughs> and I just would, but you see, he had to feel, felt that he had to fill my card before he could go up to Viola Dana's room and have some liquor, you know. He knew I didn't drink, so he'd, he'd get rid of me by filling my car. <laughs> and then about 11.30, on the dot, he never was a minute late, he'd come and tap me on the shoulder, come on kids, time to go home, and we'd go home. But <laughs> that my, my association with Buster was always different, you know. He was he was just so odd, but I liked him a lot, and he liked me, but we never had a love affair or anything like that. We just liked each other, and but he would take me to these dances for no <laughs> reason except that he thought I'd enjoy it, you know.